Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have a very special tutorial for y'all today. This involves Dana of Dana Wonderlust Crochet and Gia of Yarnnut.com and also here on YouTube. Me and Dana and Gia all have come up with a surprise. Dana has created the blanket called Dana's Turtle Beach Blanket. I helped her rewrite the pattern and me and Gia came up with a kit that she is going to sell in her shop for this blanket. It will have all the yarns you need and even the patterns included. There is the pattern for the blanket and the, uh, a pattern for the two size turtles that goes on it. I will have all the information listed down below. I will link Dana's channel and Gia's YouTube channel and her website, yarnnut.com, down below. Okay, so what comes in the kit is ice yarns and it's the saber brand this is 100 percent acrylic and it's a four weight yarn this is in the color teal the next one is the same thing in the color aqua in the color cream and these are going to be used for the blanket. This one, the cream, is also going to be used for the turtle. Along with a dark green for the turtle. So, these is what will come in the kit. And at the time of filming, I do not know the yardage as of yet. But these, there might be more yarn. It might be just enough. We do not know. This is uh, before I've made the blanket. So I cannot tell you exactly how many skeins of yarn of each will be in the kit. But by the end of this tutorial, I should know something. So thank you. And let's get started. You will also need a five millimeter hook you will need a yarn needle to weave in your ends this is a color changing blanket so i will have the color change rows listed in the description box the blanket is a large crib size blanket the pattern is worked in the back loop only through the whole entire blanket. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, to begin, you are going to want to start with the slip knot on at the beginning and chain 123. I have my 123 here. And we are going to do, do one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. And then one double crochet in the next three stitches. One. two, and three. Now for this next part, we are going to double crochet two together twice. So that's, in case you don't know, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull it through, you have two loops, yarn over, pull through 
just those two. And then you'll have these two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull your yarn through two loops, yarn over and pull through just those two. You should have three loops now. Yarn over and pull through all three. That's the double crochet two together. You do that twice. So a decrease over four stitches. And it will start to curl up on you and go up and down because it is a ripple blanket. So that is going to be normal. Now for the next part, we're going to do one double crochet in the next three stitches. There's one. Two. And three. See how it's starting to curve upward? That's normal. Okay, so for the next part, over the next two stitches, we are going to increase. So one, uh, two double crochets, sorry, two double crochets in next two stitches. So how I always remember it is one and two, and then three and four but you can always count one two one two just so you know you have two in each stitch and then one double crochet in the next three stitches that's two and here's three so it will start to look like this. Now this is going to be repeated for the remainder of the row until you have eight stitches left. So this is the part that you're going to repeat. And it's technically the same thing we just did, but do two double crochets together. And there's one. And there's two. One double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. Two increases. One. two, one, and then two. And then one double crochet in the next three. One, two, and the third one. And you can start to see the ripple forming. And then you would just repeat that again. I'll show y'all once more. Do two decreases. There's one. and two, one double crochet in the next three, one, two, and three, two increases, one, 
to three and four. Now one double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. And that is what you're going to repeat for the remainder of the row until you have eight stitches left. And I will meet you there. Okay, I have my eight stitches left. And how we're going to finish this row up is we're going to do two double crochet decreases. And there's one. And two. Do one double crochet in the next three. One. Two. And then three. Now in this last stitch or chain, we are going to put two double crochets. And there's one. And two. So. At the end of this row, you should have, you should have 120 stitches. And that is going to be the same for every row, no matter the decreases or increases, it will always be 120 stitches per row. And let's see, now we are going to turn our work. And we are going to chain three. And the chain three does count at the, uh, as a stitch at the beginning or end of every row. It does count as a stitch. Now this is where the pattern changes just a tiny little bit. Instead of going through both the stitches here, we are going to go in the back loop only on every stitch from for the remainder of the blanket row. Okay, so this counts as a stitch. So we are going to do one double crochet in the very first stitch. One double crochet in the next three. One. Two. And three. And then this is where we start the repeat again. We are going, but everything is in the back loop only. So two sets of double crochet, two together. There's one. And there's two. One double crochet in the next three. One. Two. And three. Two increases. 
one, two, three, and four. Now one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And that's what it will begin to look like when it's in the back loop. It will have a little ridge here and on the back you'll see that this row sticks up a little more. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump the camera. Okay, so I'm going to show you now the color change rows for the blanket and I will also have them listed in the description box. Okay, these are the color change rows. I would suggest pausing the screen and writing this down. But rows 1 through 10 are 10 rows of teal. Row 11 is aqua. Rows 12 through 14 are teal, so three rows of that. Rows 15 and 16 are aqua. Rows 17 and 18 are teal. Rows 19 through 21 are aqua. 22 is teal, 23 to 30 is aqua, so eight rows of that. Row 31 is cream. Row 32 through 34 is aqua, 35 through 36 is cream, 37 through 38 is aqua, 39 through 41 cream, Row 42 is aqua, and then 10 rows of cream, which is 43 through 52. I'll hold this here so y'all can pause it and write this down. Okay, now I will show y'all how to change color next. Um, I will meet y'all at row 11 or the last stitch of row 10. All right, I said I would meet y'all back at row 10, but I um, mean the last stitch of row 10, but I thought this might be important. Um, I'm just coming to the end of the second row and this chain three right here when we double crocheted in the fourth uh, chain from the hook this does count as a stitch and I'm gonna finish row two with y'all so y'all can see how to end row two so we're going to do a decrease. I have my last eight stitches here. Two decreases. And again. One double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. So now we have this right here, and you're going to go into the top of the chain and do two double crochets. just like that so now <laughs> i will meet y'all at the last eight stitches of row 10 and i will see y'all then 
All right, so I've made it to the end of my 10th row. And as you can see, you can tell that the ripples are, are forming. And I'm, I got one stitch left here. And I'm going to do one double crochet. And then I'm going to do a half. like this and then we're going to grab our new color which is the aqua and leave a little bit of a tail so you can sew it in and you'll want to lay it over your hook hold down the the teal yarn in between your fingers and pull the new color through Tighten down the teal a little and chain three. And what I would do, I would recommend sewing in this end of the teal. So just take your scissors and maybe cut about, maybe about three inches. I'm just estimating. Cut it off, sew it in. And then take your yarn needle, tapestry needle, darning needle, whatever you call it, and turn it to this side where you can see the ridge poking up and go underneath these stitches. It will also help secure um, the aqua color. I also suggest weaving it in about three different times. Pull it snug and then snip the end off and then that will at least secure part of it which I just messed up y'all see that okay I fixed it I had sewn in my working yarn on accident, but so we would turn and if you wanted to, you could bring up after you get a couple of stitches in, then weave in this end underneath them. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. So you chain up three and you turn your work. And we are going to do one double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Now we do our decrease. And the second decrease. Messed up. Sorry. Start over. How about that? And then I'm going to do one, two, and then three. I'll just go ahead and do the full repeat. Increase number one and increase number two. And then 
one double crochet in the next three. And the third one. Okay. So, and then what I mean by sewing in your tail, after you get a few stitches into it, kind of bring it up and go through there. And then if you have to turn it to the back side, you can and go under You don't want to pull it too tight because you still want it to not leave a gap. And then snip your yarn. And then it hides the tails. Okay, so... I, I wanted to make sure y'all knew how to change the colors. Um, so I guess once the next time y'all see me, I will have the blanket finished and I will show you the end result. And then I will show you how to make these small and large sea turtles. So I will see y'all when I get finished. This is what the finished blanket looks like, and it took one ball of each color. Now for the next part of the tutorial, I will show you how to do the turtles. There are two sizes and a slight difference in each of the pattern for the two uh, turtles, and so let's get into that. Okay, so for the tor turtle portion, we should have some cream left over from the blanket. A fairly good amount. That is going to be color one. And you will need a stitch marker and your 5.5 millimeter hook. And the dark green. And that dark green will be color two. So this stitch marker will be for uh, marking your beginning of round because we will be working in continuous rounds now. Um, so make you a slip knot. And we are going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We are going to go to the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. And you're going to place your marker in that single crochet. Alright, so now... We are going to single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. In this last chain, we are going to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. 
Now, working along this side, we are going to put one single crochet in the next five, but in the last one, we are going to change color. And if you want to, you can uh, work over this tail. So that is one. Two. Three. Four. And the last one might be kind of hard to see. You have a, a string here and then a string here. Kind of go in between them two. And then we're going to finish our stitch off with the green. And we're going to go in the stitch with the marker and do one single crochet. And then we are going to move the marker to the stitch we just made. Like that. Now, for round two, we are going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. And again, if you want to crochet over your tails, um, you have the, well, the white one's already crocheted in, but. And I would suggest leaving this because you will pick up the cream later. So one single crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Now we are going to put one half double and one double crochet in the next stitch. So two stitches in the same stitch. So one half double. Try to go over my tail. one double all in that same stitch just like that and then we are going to do one double and then a half half double in the same stitch so we start out reversed a double crochet then a half double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to do three half double crochets in the next stitch. And there's one, two, and three. Now we are going to do one half double and one double in the same stitch. So one half double and one double. Then one double and then a half double in the same stitch. Like that. All right. And then one single crochet in the next four stitches. Oops. Okay. And that's what will it will begin to look like. All right, so for round three, 
we are going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. Remove my marker for a second. This is number one and we are going to place the marker and in the same stitch number two. So two singles in the next stitch. Then we are going to put one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. One half double crochet in the next stitch. Then one half double and one double in the next stitch. So a half double and then a double. Now we are going to put two double crochets in the next two stitches. So in the next two, we are going to have two double crochets each. One and two. Next stitch, two more. One and two. In the next three stitches, one double crochet. So one, two, and three. Now two double crochets in the next two stitches. One and two for the first stitch. One and two for the second stitch. Now we are going to do one double and then a half double. in the same stitch. One half double crochet in the next stitch. And then one single crochet in the next four. And there's one, two, three and it's supposed to change color so back to the white just bring up the white yarn and finish your stitch with it Okay, so I have realized I did not tell y'all the stitch count. Okay, so for round one, you should have 13 stitches. Round two, you should have 19. And for round three, you should have 26. Okay, so for round four, we are going to remove our marker and do one single crochet, place our marker, and we are going to do one single crochet in the next um, in every stitch in the next 26. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. And actually, again, right there, we're supposed to change back to the green for the last stitch. Okay, so now we can remove that marker for a minute. Okay, so my camera is dying, but I don't have my uh, light on. I hope y'all can still see this good enough. Um, now, for round five, we are going to be working in the front loops only. That is the front loop here. We are going to single crochet around. There should still only be 26 stitches so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. You can go ahead and cut this uh, cream color if you want. So for the next part, we are going to be doing the fins and the tail and the head. We are going to slip stitch into the back loop. Of the green no okay actually when you do like this you'll see the back of the stitch we just worked into it's right there we're gonna slip stitch into that now we are going to be working on the back loops from the previous row here. We are going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. And we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one and then two and then single crochet in the next two. And then we are going to slip stitch here. And slip stitch into the next 
Then we are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. We are going to go into the second chain from the hook and single crochet, single crochet in the third one, and double crochet in the next two. And then we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Actually, no, we skip one, skip this loop, and we slip stitch in the next one. So right there. And in the next five. One. Two. Three, four, and five. We are going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook, the hook, double crochet in the next three, one, two, and three. And we are going to put two single crochets in, in the last stitches. So one in each chain. Like that. Now we slip stitch in the next loop. And then slip stitch in the next three. One, two, and three. We are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We are going to double crochet. Wait, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then double crochet in the next. And a triple, so wrap it twice in the next one. and a double crochet in the last chain. Then we are going to skip one back loop and slip stitch into the next. And we are going to slip stitch into the next four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we are going to do another front fin. So we chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Second chain from the hook, single crochet, 
double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Then we are going to single crochet in the next two. One, and two. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next one and the next three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to do the back pin again, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, single crochet and the second chain from the hook, single crochet in the next, and double crochet in the last two. You're going to skip one stitch, slip stitch into the next, and slip stitch into that last stitch. And you're going to try to find somewhere over here to slip stitch into. And then pull your yarn through, snip it, hide your tail, and flip this edge down. And there is the small turtle. And you can put some stuffing here when you sew it onto your blanket. And it will stick up like that. I will probably show you all how to sew one to the blanket. But stay tuned and I will do the large turtle. It's, it's similar. Um, there is a slight difference on, on one or two rows, but it's very similar. So, yeah. Cute little guy, isn't he? Okay, stay tuned. Okay, for the large tur your turtle, you're going to start with color one, which is the cream. And we are going to chain seven. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and place our marker. One single crochet in the next four. One. two, three, and four. Now we will put three single crochets in the last chain. One, two, and three. And one single crochet in the next five. One, two, 
two, three, four, and then we're going to change color. And single crochet where the marker is. And then place our marker back. For round uh, one, you should have 13 stitches. For round two, one single crochet in the next three. One. Two and three, one half double and one double in the next stitch. There's the one half double, now one double. one double and one half double in the next sorry I was just reading one double and then one half double one half double crochet in the next stitch then we're going to do one half double and one double in the next one double and then a half double in the same stitch one single crochet in the next four one two three and then four and you should have 18 stitches for round two for round three we're going to remove the marker single crochet in that stitch place the marker single crochet in the next four one two three and four now we are going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch and then one half double and double crochet so half double and a double 
in the next and two double crochets in the next four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Because if you think about it, two double crochets over four stitches is eight. All right, so now we are going to do one double crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. And a half double crochet in the next. And four single crochets, one in each stitch. Two, three, and four. All right, so for round four, single crochet in that first stitch and place your marker. Now we are going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. So technically you put one more in that same stitch and one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, One half double and next two half doubles in the next four stitches. There's one and two, three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. two half double crochets in the next four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we are going to put one half double crochet in the next and one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oops. And we're going to change color. Okay. And 
and place your marker. Okay, so for row four, you should have 32 stitches. Now we are on round five. We are going to put one single crochet in every stitch. And then we are going to change back to the green. Remove the marker. And. All right, for round six, we are going to be working in the front loops only. So that is the first loop closest to you and we are going to single crochet around in the front loops only and you should still have 32 stitches Okay, I've almost made it back around and for the next portion and that's what it will look like the tail so again just like the small turtle we'll be working in these back loops back here You might want to slip stitch into 
That one right there, not the one behind this one, but that one right there. And we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet in the second chain. And the next two. Slip stitch into the next three. One, two, and three. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Second chain, single crochet. Single crochet in the next two. Ugh, why did I yarn over? Sorry. Single crochet, not a half double. <laughs> okay, in the next two, and double crochet in the remainders. We are going to skip this one here, slip stitch in the next one, and slip stitch into the next eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. We are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Single crochet in the second. single crochet in the next double crochet in the next three one two three and single crochet in the last two. All right, now we're going to slip stitch into the next four loops. One, two, three, and four and chain five one two three four and five we are gonna do one single crochet in the second chain one double crochet in the next chain triple in the next and then one double in the last and then we are going to slip stitch 
into the next Well, that didn't work. And the next four. One, two, three, and four. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Single crochet in the second chain. Single crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three, and single crochet in the last two. Now we are going to slip stitch into the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We are going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go in the second chain and do a single crochet. Two, one single crochet in the next two. And double crochet in the last two. And then slip stitch into the next one. And then slip stitch somewhere in there. And the large turtle is done. There we go. Now I'm going to show you how to put them on the blanket. And you can make as many turtles as you wish to put on your blanket. Um, and I do suggest stuffing this portion before sewing it on. It'll make it stand out instead of collapsing in. So get a little bit of stuffing and maybe... I'll show y'all how to do it. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all the turtles side by side. So you can see the size difference. This one is the large one. This one is the small one. And you can kind of tell they, they are different sizes. I guess this could be the mama and that could be the baby. Or maybe a brother and sister or sister and baby brother. Who knows? Okay, so to sew your turtle on, 
you want to try to sew it from this edge um, down here. So the edge of the shell sticks up. And just stuff your tails in there. Or you can hide them. And I left a real long tail. And I want this one to kind of go a little sideways. So. I, and I do warn y'all, I am not the greatest at sewing on applique at all. I just wanted to make sure I didn't, uh, yeah, it, it went through. Okay, so, I don't know if y'all can see, hold on. Too close. Okay. And I guess it don't have to be perfect. Just kind of make sure. Oh, get off of there. It's on there good enough to hold it. Okay, so y'all kind of get the idea. Just crochet around the edge, and then that will sit up like that. And then once I get this whole part sewn on, I'll meet you back, and I'll show you what to do with the tail and the legs and all that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, before I get done crocheting around the outside, um, I'll show you what to do next with the stuffing. Okay, so I have made it from over here around to over here. And I've left this space. It's about three fingers wide, at least mine. I have my stuffing. You don't want to overstuff it, but oh, sorry. Maybe a tad more. Just where it stands up. shove some into the curved part here so that stands up a little and then sew that hole closed
I know it's very hard to see exactly where I'm placing it, but it don't really matter just as long as you get on that edge. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go through the side of the turtle, through the stuffing, and come out the top, and kind of go back in out somewhere else, oops, and weave through the, the tail, through the stuffing, and it kind of will hold it in place after you've cut it. After you do that a couple of times, come back down here to the bottom. And snip your yarn and for the next portion we are going to tack the tail and legs down You might want to come up through the bottom. And then I'll go back through and then tie it on the other side. And it will hold it down like that. Sorry about shaking the camera. So you can see my two yarn tails here. I'm just going to go in and out another stitch and then I will tie this off and what I like to do is do a knot like this And you could also, after you do that, put a dab of like fabric glue or something on this knot and it won't come out. Mm. 
Okay, so and it stays in place. I may have not uh, gotten it good enough right there, but you get the idea. And then you just do that, sorry, with all the legs and the flippers and the head. Or you can sew around this whole piece, around the outside, completely, and it, it will stay flatter. Okay, so, um, I will do, let's say, where'd my, I'm going to do the head. And I'll tie that one off in a little bit. I'll do one of the flippers. And there we go. We can kind of see what it will look like laid, laid flat. All right. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please go check out Gia's uh, yarnnut.com and check out the kits. And thank you for watching. Go give Dana Wonderlust a shout out. And Miss Gia of Yarn Nut on YouTube, a shout out. And thank you ladies for letting me do this tutorial and blessing me with uh, the kit to make this tutorial, Miss Gia. I will have both their channels linked below and Miss Gia's um, webpage for the kits. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.